Well, if you plan on doing some yard work this weekend, which is absolutely beautiful for that, here's a weekend gardener with, with some tips for you this morning. Hello, gardening friends. Welcome to the Weekend Gardener. I'm John Dromgul. We're still planting vegetables and flowers and things like that for the fall garden. We're making that big switch right now. The weather's really nice. And so uh, let me tell you something about vegetables that I've learned over time. Um, sometimes when you're trying to get them out of a pot, like this one right here, it's a Chinese cabbage. That's a good cabbage. And when they're difficult to get out of the pot, it's because the roots down here are holding on. But if you pull the roots away from it like that and clean it up, then you'll get it out of there a lot easier. So uh, keep that in mind. If it's difficult to get it out, then it may be the root system. Not going to hurt it to do that. There are some organic uh, plants out there that are coming out late, like many have. And look how spindly it is. But you can still make it. I planted those last week, and they were just like this, and they're snapping out of it already. They're looking good, so don't worry about it. One of the things that happens with something like this is the root system's not that well established. See that? They're just, they look good, but they're not that well established. So what can happen is a lot of it can fall apart while you're doing this. So don't worry about that either. Always use a little bit of rock phosphate uh, in the bottom of the hole. It helps it get off. It's like mother's milk. See, there it goes. It's falling apart to the plant. There's a little bit right there. Make sure you get yourself good quality tools when you're working in the garden. And so this little guy is going to go down in there. This is a broccoli. Broccoli is one of the few that you can add a little soil around the stem itself in order to prop it up, and then the mulch will do that. I water it in with a little bit of uh, seaweed. The rock phosphate's there to get it going. The seaweed's going to help it get going, and uh, that's going to be all you need to do to get one of those types of plants that are kind of spindly into the garden and running very well like those do, or otherwise um, get them off to a good start by taking the roots off of the bottom. It's safe to do. For the Weekend Gardener, I'm John Dromgul. I hope this hint helps you in your garden.